Fix your hair, fix your hair. What is up, guys? I'm Julia, back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we are going to be reading old letters and random stuff that I have in this box. I'm gonna pick a random one. It says, thanks for being a great cousin. Love you, Anna. I can't believe that's the first one that I pulled. This is my cousin Anna. Shout out, Anna. This is like... <laughs> that's crazy that she's the first one because I was just talking to her about my YouTube a couple days ago. So, I think she's going to be excited to see that. That's out of focus. Good. Okay, next one. Oh, this is a good one. So, I'll tell the story about this one. So, first off, it's supposed to say pen pal, not pin pal, but it's okay, Nick. He drew a little picture on the back, too. But, okay. So, I met Nick on my cruise two years ago, and we still stay in touch from time to time. It's kind of harder now, but this past summer, we talked a lot, and now that I'm in school, it's a little bit harder, but he's from Georgia, and this is a letter. We used to send each other letters in the mail. This is one of them. I'll read it. Dear Julia, it's only been a couple days since the cruise and I already miss you like crazy. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to meet you because you're such an incredible person. As I write this letter and listen to your faves playlist, I feel like I'm talking to you face to face. It makes me sad to think that it could be a long time until I get to see you again. <laughs> That's true. I really hope that we stay close and follow through with everything we have talked about, like the music thing and the pen pal thing, which we did not follow through with, but it's okay. In our hearts, we did. I'm sure we will, though, because like you said, everything happens for a reason. And I really doubt we were only meant to be close for a week. Fingers crossed, at least. In a way, I think I kind of look up to you. You're so inspiring and can easily find common ground with anyone. You're so independent. You walk your own path, despite of what anyone else thinks. Also, you are so focused and determined about your future, which is what inspires me to be as great as you. You are a great person, Julia. Do not let anyone tell you differently. You're soon to be BFF, Nick. That made me really happy seeing that again. It's here. But yeah, Nick is a great guy. I miss him so much. And I'm going to call him now after this. Okay, next one. This is a long one. I'll read parts of it. I think this is from Natalie. Yeah. Okay. Natalie is one of my friends who I met senior year. Well, I knew her, but like I got really close with her senior year, so I really met her senior year. She changed my life. Love you, Natalie. <laughs> and this was a letter she wrote for me for my birthday, I believe. Uh, oh, here's a funny one. The fact that we're the same personality type makes me so happy because the fact that I'm like you at all is so cool. <laughs> the fact that I'm like you at all is so cool, girl. So, um, in our religion class, we had to take personality tests in high school, which I really don't know why we did that, but we did that. And me and her are both ENFP personality. I'm going to put the link to the personality test so if you guys want to do that. It's kind of fun. You get to figure out your personality type. And me and Natalie have the same one, or Natalie and I. don't really know my grammar, but it's fine. Lucky you... Wait. She does have bad handwriting. Sorry, Nat. <laughs> Being friends with you has made my senior year significantly significantly better, more fun, and memorable. I know I will always look back on the memories we've made so far. I want to read my favorite parts. Thanks, Nat. I love you. I actually saw Nat yesterday. Yeah, we took pictures. <laughs> okay, next one. This one's from my sister. Me and my sister always get in fights, and we write each other letters sometimes to try to make up, but I don't think this was from a fight. I think this was just her being nice. Weird. This is the first day of senior year. <laughs> Dear Julia, tomorrow you start the beginning of an end. Your final chapter in this roller coaster ride called high school is beginning, and I truly can't believe it. I know this is going to be your best year for you. And I can't wait to see everything you accomplish with that being said. I I can't read this girl's handwriting. What the F? This is my sister. I should be able to read her handwriting. All right. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I can't wait to see everything you accomplish. With that being said, 
I want to give you a few things to remember throughout these next months of your senior year. One, do everything. Go to that football game, even if it sucks, which they did. Sorry, at my high school, we had nobody, like no team spirit. But anyway, go to that party, get together, even if you have schoolwork, because these are the moments that you'll never forget. Two, don't let the small stuff ruin your mood or attitude. Three, take lots of pictures and videos, which of course I do. Pfft, look at me right now. <laughs> take risks, but always be smart about what you're doing. Okay, there's the mom and her. I always take risks, but I'm not really smart about what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. When choosing a school, choose for yourself and what's best for you and only you. Don't fight with your friends, but if you do, be the bigger person, even if you aren't wrong. Eight, be smart when it comes to boys. If I want to approve it, don't think for a second that it's going to work out. Okay, well, most of the time Elizabeth does not approve any of my boyfriends. But I have a boyfriend right now and she approves of him, so I guess things are going pretty well. I don't have any regrets this year. I didn't. Ten, live life to the fullest. I did. I love you so much, Julia, and I seriously hope you have the best senior year. You deserve it all. So do you, Elizabeth. I love you. Even though we fight 24-7. <laughs> love always, Elizabeth. Alright, next one. Okay, this is from Emma. I already know it's from Emma because of her handwriting. Okay. <laughs> All right, backstory on Emma. So Emma was my next door neighbor here. She moved away really recently. I cried, but she was my next door neighbor and immediately we became best friends and inseparable since sisters. She'll probably be in one of my videos soon, so you'll see her, but she's two years younger than me and I'm like her older sister, even though sometimes she's a little more mature than me, but most of the time she's not. Here's to the crap we talk, guys we stalk, way we shop, laughs we can't stop, gossip we spill, looks that could kill, we'll stay together because we're best friends forever. <laughs> Julia, you are my best friend in the whole world. You are so special to me. You are the older sister I never had. I can't imagine my life without you. You're always there for me. I know we will be at each other's weddings. If anyone wants to marry this train wreck, <laughs> you're my best friend. I love you. Aww. This would make me cry. I'm tearing up. Ah. Oh, I gotta take a moment to move on to the next one. Okay, next. Okay, this is from my friend Harrison, who I haven't seen in a while. He called me Shades. Happy birthday, Shades. This is for my birthday. Um, I got close, really close with him senior year again. Senior year, I made a lot of good friends, and he was one of them. And I haven't seen him in a while, but I'm gonna see him soon because now we're all in college so it's kind of hard but he called me shades because of sunglasses that I wore in Disney and because I throw shade which I actually don't really throw shade so I don't know where that came from but okay dear Jules well first off happy birthday I hope your birthday is as amazing eh, is as amazing as you are keep on keeping on with your good vibes and constant happy-go-lucky attitude you can always bring light into everyone's day. You have made me the happiest I have ever been and changed me for the better through the relatively short time that I've known you. You change everyone's life around you. I never want you to change because no one is close to being like you. You are one of a kind. Keep on changing people's lives day by day. I'm so happy you have come into my life and let's keep making memories. Love, Harrison. That was so cute. I miss you, Harrison, if you see this. <laughs> This one's from my mom. It's a little index card. I think she wrote this to me in middle school, to be honest. I keep everything. Julia, <laughs> you have the magic within your soul, your very being, to spread happiness wherever you go. Do not live your life without realizing that magic on a daily basis. You will not only lift others up, but you will lift yourself up too. The meaning of life is to find a life of meaning. I love you. Love, Mommy. I love my mom. She's the best. <laughs> love you, Mom. <laughs> this is really cute. This was for my 18th birthday from someone. This is from Jess. Aww. I knew Jess, but I really met Jess my senior year. She was one of my best friends, too. And she gave me this for my 18th birthday. Okay. Reason Stools is the best. Extremely loyal and caring. So are you, Jess. <laughs> Always down for a good time. 
Same with you, Jess. <laughs> so funny to the point where we all die from laughter and she starts having a panic attack. <laughs> okay, I have a story about this, but I feel like this video is so long, but I'll keep it short. In Disney, I never laughed so much within one week and I laughed so hard that I couldn't breathe. So, but it was really, it was one of the best weeks of my life. It was the best week of my life. For amazing photographer who makes amazing videos. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> uh, doesn't care what people think about her. I love this trait so much. That is so true. Just saying, I do not care what anybody thinks about me, so. <laughs> uh, next, can make the most boring situations fun and funny. Super supportive, and I tell, and I feel like I can tell her anything. And so much more. Love you, Jules. Love you, Jess. And then she wrote... Love you so much, Jules. Honestly, cannot begin to describe how much you mean to me, and I'm so glad we became friends. Love, Jess. I love you, Jess. <laughs> See? Honestly, about all this stuff, all these letters, like, that's why I love handwritten letters, because it can make your day, but it also, like, makes days in the future. Like, I look back and read some of these so often, and it always brings a smile to my face, so. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Oh, this one's from Jeff. Hmm. Okay, Jess, Jeff. Okay, so Jeff was my prom date senior year. I got really close with him senior year. He's one of my best friends. Love him so much. He's a goof. <laughs> and he's the best. So this is from him. Probably going to tear up reading this. Jules. <laughs> Words cannot describe how happy I am since we became closer over this past year. Through all the hardships you have endured, you have been able to alter the lives of all people you surround yourself with, including my own. I hope your birthday is as incredible as you are. Never change who you are because there is no one or nothing like you. Love, Jeff. Okay. Love you, Jeff. So, we read a lot of my letters today. Or I read them. You listened. Or you just skipped through this video. I don't really know what you did, but I read the letters and hopefully... Hopefully you guys listened. That's all for today's video. I tried to do something a little different because I don't think anybody's really done this before. But that's basically it. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> that was really weird. Okay, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out, gang gang. Closing off. Yay! I'm just